So IGN gave Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13 a seven out of a seven out of ten. That's above average if I'm uh, if I can look at it. It's like it's a um I I kind of can't look at this review and say yeah man it's a bad review because the game deserves a nine. Not necessarily because. This is one of those reviews in which that it does honestly kind of hold um, hold a lot hold a lot of weight on it. It's a game which which from which which coming from a guy who's only tried out the demo, the combat system is actually a good. Uh, it is actually pretty good. It does offer a lot of customization and also each one it does kind of have its fitting fitting role and and and. Um, and also, each one has a strength, strengths and weaknesses for what they bring to what you want to bring in your play style. Even though it does have like a revolver, um, a, a revolver like like feel in which that, in which that, in a sense, since it makes it feel more like a rock paper scissors game, but but um, but uh, you can upgrade the rocks, the papers, and the um, and uh, the scissors to your liking, which is something that. The, that does work within the game's game's favor. However, however, looking at it like that, it's like, yeah, man, the visual, um, uh, and also the world itself, or in this case, the the environments in which that they've kind of like shown around. I've seen some of the um, screenshots of it, and it has, uh, and it is actually pretty good. Where the game itself does honestly kind of like. Where it does honestly kind of kind of lose me, where where uh, it has been losing me for like the past two games, or at the very least for uh, the first game, because I've only played like like a little bit of the second one, but it does tend to lose me somewhere along uh, around the story because I because I get the feeling that that uh, for most of these Final Fantasy games. They don't necessarily have a team which which just focuses on the story. They have a team which kind of focuses just on graphics, the world building, the art, and the character designs, and the combat system. That's pretty much what they think about um, one um, uh, fir first and foremost. And the story itself just sort of just is kind of like just like a last in thing in which they just decide to just just slap together and then just make a game. I mean like honestly I do kind of I do kind of agree with it because A, you know, the last few Final Fantasy games they really the combat system and uh, and the graphics have pushed them above average because they do kind of deliver on that but at but at the same time their stories even going back from the first one they really haven't been all that great. So yeah, I kind of have to agree with what they for the decision that uh, they made at IGN, you know. I kind of yeah, I might buy this game if it's less than twenty bucks or less than thirty dollars. But hey, till then I can't buy it. Buy it day one. So yeah, I'll see you guys on the next John Graham show. Please tell me what tell me what what uh, you think about this game. And hey, and hey, I'll catch you guys next time. All right, I'm out.